Estamos un año más en IBC, la verdad es que este año para nosotros está siendo un grandísimo éxito, estamos muy contentos, hay mucha gente que está viniendo a ver los nuevos desarrollos de Mística. Eh, acabamos de estar en Beer TV en Beijing, y nos, donde nos han dado el premio al mejor producto de postproducción, lo cual es un honor recibir un premio en un mercado tan en auge como es el mercado chino. Y bueno, estamos teniendo gente de muchos países que vienen a ver las últimas novedades de Mística en color y en estereoscopía. Estamos mostrando el tráiler de Asterix, película que se estrenará en octubre, que tiene tecnología española detrás. Eh, está viniendo gente de Nueva Zelanda para hablar del flujo de trabajo en Park Road, el, la gente que está haciendo ahora la trilogía del Hobbit. Eh, estamos enseñando el, el tráiler de Spider-Man, película que se acaba de estrenar con tecnología española también. Realmente hay un buen palmarés de películas, Prometheus, Madame Butterfly, producción del Royal Opera House eh, que acaban de hacer en Inglaterra. Hay un montón de referencias que creo que están posicionando Mística en lo más alto de la postproducción estereoscópica mundial. Y bueno, la verdad es que es un placer y un honor estar estos días aquí en el, en el IBC. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the Mystica post-production system, which is a complete finishing tool. So compositing online and full color grading. And new for version 7 uh, is an entirely new color grading system uh, based entirely on feedback from colorists. So it's a next generation color grading tool that allows infinite possibilities, unlimited layers, the ability to root and reroute shots and selections and shapes and so on. Mystica's new color corrector has so many new tools to, to really be able to define an image and make so many different ways of selecting uh, particular points and colors and so we can make very selective changes and see our selections so easily. I'm able to take different inputs into the different levels. So for example, here, if I feel this area is too dark, I can now recover from a different layer, from the base, for example. So now within this circle, I'm actually grading from the original. And all this is running uh, in real time, even in 4K, even in stereo, even at high frame rates, even directly off ARRI RAW files with no transcoding or importing. So Mystica's speed just makes it so much more efficient to be able to get onto the creative work as quickly as possible and spend as little time transcoding and importing and, and all those things that waste so much time. Mystica also has some really good compositing tools. For example, in, in this shot, the green screen was, was lit uh, in a very flat way without any shadows. Uh, but the background that we wanted to put it on needs a strong side light. So in this instance, I actually used Mystica's lighting to be able to relight the angle of the character off the green screen. So you can see how easily I'm, I'm changing the, the aspect of the light, even on the picking up on the plinth that he's standing on. As I move the light around, you can see it's respecting where the light is coming from. Also new in version 7 uh, are a raft of improvements to keep uh, the functions of Mystica running absolutely as fast as they possibly can go. Uh, and that's why it's able to do, for example, stereo at 60 frames a second or 48 frames a second, which is a, a next level of production that uh, uh, many post-production houses will need to deal with over the next year or two. So, Mystica version 7 is already enabling customers to be able to take advantage of these new uh, technologies uh, to increase their markets and, uh, uh, and win a greater share of work. 